Mm. Yo, this is why I hate religion but love Jesus. Spoken word poetry by Jefferson Burko. Bark, bark, I cannot pronounce his last name. I am so sorry. I really am. Um, let's get into this video. I've seen this video plenty of times. I'm not going to lie. But I think it's a great video. Great points. And let's add to it if I can find something to add to. Anyways, let's get into this. Shall we? Let's go. Let's go. What if I told you Jesus came to abolish religion? What if I told you voting Republican really wasn't his mission? Right. I, I said it before in a video last year sometime. Uh, I think it was a video from John. I can't pronounce his last name either. Anyways, uh, Republican, just because you're a Republican, doesn't mean you're a Christian. There's no word in the Bible that said Jesus Christ was a Republican or a Democrat. He didn't belong to no party. There is nowhere in the Bible that says Jesus Christ only supports one side of people. Jesus Christ supports everybody. Jesus Christ loves everybody. Try to disappoint well Republican, Republicans, but you're not the party of Christ. Democrats are not part of Christ because if, if the Republicans happen to be the party of Christ, which it's not, but if they happen to be, then how come there be, how is there Democrats who are Christians? I know a lot of Christians who are Democrat. So don't say that the Republican Party is the party of Christ and the Democrat Party is the party of the devil because it's not the truth. Take your self hate, find Jesus, and love like Jesus. Abolish religion. What if I told you voting Republican really wasn't his mission? What if I told you Republican doesn't automatically mean mm -hmm. Christian, and just because you call some people blind doesn't automatically give you vision? Right. I mean, if religion is so great, why has it started so many wars? Why does it build huge churches, but fails to feed the poor? That's one thing I don't understand. Um, that's one thing I just don't get. Is the, the, the churches out here who are building big churches out and all that, Even the mega churches, for Christ's sakes. Um, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all churches. I am not saying all churches. Because there's a lot of churches that I know personally around me who are out there helping feeding the poor. Out there helping the elderly. Helping anybody who is in need of help. So I'm not saying every single church. But I'm saying if you're gonna build if you can build a big building and keep building different buildings or whatever whatnot, then you should have the funds to be able to feed the poor. If you don't have the funds to be able to support the poor community and help them and help those who are in need, then you don't have the funds to build a new church. You don't have the funds to build a big huge church. Because people should come first in a building. Because that's after all, what is a church? It's not a building. 
church is not a building. Church is a gathering of Christ's followers. The people is the church. The building is just a building that we go in and worship. That's all. Why has it started so many wars? Why does it build huge churches but fails to feed the poor? Tell single moms God doesn't love them if they've ever had a divorce. Not but in right. the Old Testament, God actually calls religious people whores. Mm -hmm. Religion might preach grace, but another thing they practice, tend to ridicule God's people, they did it to John the Baptist. Yep. They can't fix their problems, and so they just mask it, not realizing religion's like spraying perfume on a casket. <laughs> yeah, right? See, the problem with religion is it never gets to the core. It's just behavior modification, like a long list of chores. Like, let's dress up the outside, make it look nice and neat. But it's funny, that's what they used to do to mummies while the corpse rots underneath. Now I ain't judging, I'm just saying, quit putting on a fake look. Because there's a problem if people only know that you're a Christian by your Facebook. That verse gets me every time. There's a problem if people only know that you're a Christian by your Facebook. Just because you put something on your Facebook profile saying you're a Christian doesn't mean you're a Christian. But well, could be, yes. But you have to also have to live like Christ. And you have to show love. You have to show love to your enemies. You have to show love and forgiveness to everyone. Not just the people you like. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not. I'm really not perfect. I have trouble with myself with hate and not forgiving. And I'm trying my best to live by Christ who's able to forgive them and just move on. It's hard, I know, but you have to be more more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reactive, not a serving. You have to love like Christ. You have to forgive like Christ. You can't just put on your Facebook when you're a Christian and there you go. You have to live like him too. You have to follow him. You have to love everyone even though they may hurt you. Or hurt you in the past. Or did something totally wrong. You may not. You don't, you don't have to like them. But you have to at least forgive them. Even if it, it's. If it's. I know it's a stretch. And it's really hard to say because I don't have the right bill and I don't think I'll be able to myself because I'm not perfect. Remember, I'm a sinner. I deal with the same struggles. But if somebody would have murder your family member, yes, you will have a lot of hate in your heart for that person. And it may take you years, if not ever. You don't have to like the person. You don't but you have to forgive. You have to forgive. Because if you hold the hate in your heart, you're going to be miserable later on in life or even longer until you do find it in your heart to forgive. You have to forgive like Jesus. Jesus forgives. He forgave everyone. He died for our sins. The ultimate punishment for us. He forgave us and take our sin to the de to his death. You have to forgive and you have to love. You just have to. And I'm not saying it's easy. I am not saying it's easy. Because, boy, it's not. And 
I you know my hatred. How can't we say hatred? But there's one person so far this whole world, world that I just can't forgive yet, and I do I can't get into me to forgive. And it's tough because I know I'm supposed to. I'm called to forgive. It's just when it's an inc it's this and it's a thing that goes is continually happening. That it, okay, there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's kind of hard to forgive. But let's get back into this. Just saying, quit putting on a fake look because there's a problem if people only know that you're a Christian by your Facebook. I mean, in every other aspect of life, you know that logic's unworthy. Mm -hmm. It's like saying you play for the Lakers just because you bought a jersey. Right. See, this was me too, but no one seemed to be on to me, acting like a church kid while addicted to pornography. See, on Sunday I'd go to church, but Saturday getting faded, acting if I was simply created to just have sex and get wasted. See, I spent my whole life building this facade of neatness, but now that I know Jesus, mm -hmm. I boast in my weakness. Because if grace is water, then the church should be an ocean. It's not mm -hmm. a museum for good people. It's the a hospital, hospital for the broken. broken. Yep. Which means I don't have to hide my failure. I don't have to hide my sin. Because it doesn't depend on me. It depends on mm -hmm. him. See, because when I was God's enemy, and certainly not a fan, he looked down and said, I want that man. Which is why Jesus hated religion. And for it, he called them fools. Don't you see so much better than just following some rules? Right. Now, let me clarify. I love the church, I love the Bible, and yes, I believe in sin. But if Jesus came to your church, would they actually let him in? See, remember he was called a glutton and a drunkard by religious men. But the Son of God never supports self-righteousness, not now, not then. Right. Now back to the point, one thing is vital to mention. How Jesus and religion are on opposite spectrums. See, one's the work of God, but one's a man-made invention. See, one is the cure, but the other's the infection. See, because religion says do, so, Jesus, Jesus says, says done. done. Religion says slave, Jesus says son. Mm -hmm. Religion puts you in bondage while Jesus sets you free. Right. Religion makes you blind, but Jesus makes you see. And that's why religion and Jesus are two different clans. Mm -hmm. Religion is man searching for God. Christianity is God searching for man, which is why salvation is freely mine and forgiveness is my own not based on my merits, but Jesus' obedience alone. Mm -hmm. Because he took the crown of thorns and the blood dripped down his face. He took what we all deserve. I guess that's why you call it grace. And while being murdered, he yelled, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Right. Because when he was dangling on that cross, he was thinking of you. And he absorbed all your sin and he buried it in the tomb, which is why I'm kneeling at the cross saying, come on, there's room. Amen. So for religion, no, I hate it. In fact, I literally resent it because when Jesus said it is finished, I believe he, he meant, meant it. it. Yep. 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 For sure. For sure, Jeff. Definitely. I agree everything he said. And to the one who does not work but believes in him who just justified the ungodly, his faith is counted as whitenesses. I think he probably should have a little more spaces in there because it was kind of hard to read. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you haven't already, hit that sub button down below. Hit that notification bell when I said, man, that super real. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, please hit the like button. The, not a booper. Thank you so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you like the content, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you or go live. And hit the like button. And if you want, leave your thoughts and comments down below or say hi. It's up to you. But either way, thank you so much. Much appreciated. You were loved. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.